When a significant snow event like this one comes through, it often impacts outlying communities the hardest. That figures to be the case overnight and tomorrow with the Palmer Divide and Teller County right in the crosshairs. Cardio 13's Emily Coffey is live in Teller County tonight, tracking the roads and the preparations there. Emily. Yeah, we're on Highway 24 right now. On our way up here, we saw multiple stalled vehicles and even one just slide off the road right in front of us. We've been pulled over until just now for our safety. Just to show you these roads, there's a lot of heavy and thick snowfall here that's very slippery and it's expected to just continue to get worse throughout the night, often impacting rural communities the most. Just making sure that the chains and everything is uh, Functional. Rural counties are gearing up for this storm. The, the depth of the snow is just going to take longer. And another complicating factor, many Teller County roads aren't paved. We have a lot of gravel roads, so they'll dig into the mud while we're trying to push the snow. And as drifts continue to accumulate in the higher elevations, Teller County officials admit they're going to have a hard time keeping up. It's going to be like a spring snow. It's going to be a lot of snow. It's going to be heavy. Back in northern El Paso County, it's a similar story where places like Monument will also see plow delays. When we get a snowstorm up here, anything is possible. Cheryl Lewis lives in a particularly steep neighborhood in Monument, one where stranded cars and trucks can often be spotted. All of a sudden, we have some streets that are really, really tough to navigate. And she says the problem has only gotten worse after a new rule adopted by El Paso County, where plows don't even go into neighborhoods with less than six inches of snow. We've seen garbage trucks stuck down uh, the road and having to have huge tow trucks come up and tow them out, um, delivery vans, all sorts of things. Of course, we're not talking about six inches this time. Get on the road unless it's essential, and if you do have the right equipment, right tires, uh, pack blankets, and some food in case you do get stranded. Yeah, Teller County officials told me not to hesitate to call 911 in the case of an emergency, but to expect to not be able to travel for the next couple of days. Reporting live in close to Woodland Park, Emily Coffey, Cardio 13.